So for the last three years, I have been trying to become a better typist. Now, for those of you who don't know, professionally, I write for a living, and I have for over a decade, basically since I got out of university. And I've always considered myself to be a fairly good typist, a, a fairly good you know typer of the keyboard, but I was trying to improve myself. I wanted to get better. So starting at the beginning of 2020, I started to do daily typing tests to try to improve my speed and more importantly, my accuracy. Because when my accuracy goes down, my typing speed really goes down because I, I'm not very good at ignoring typos. I go immediately back and, and, and fix them because they annoy me. That squiggly red line just makes me want to murder people. So, so I decided to go right back and fix them, and that means that I type slower, right? So I wanted to improve speed, I wanted to improve accuracy, and the way I did that was by taking daily typing tests. Now, I've been doing that basically every single day since the beginning of 2020. Actually, since the, like the last day of 2019, I believe, is the day that I started. Now, I have missed a few days because of COVID or because of the fact that I didn't have power or something like that, but basically every single day, I'd spend five minutes doing a typing test. Now... I've been using various sites. I've been using Monkey Type, Type Racer, which is basically a typing racing game, which is pretty cool, and uh, a few others. And basically, what I wanted to do today was kind of talk about my experience with this process and just talk about some of the things that I've learned along the way and uh, just share with you my experience. So, before I jump in, if you'd leave a thumbs up on this video, I'd really appreciate it. It would really help the channel. So, when I started in 2020, at the beginning of 2020 or late 2019, I guess, the last day, I had an average word per minute typing speed of around 70 words per minute. Now, that's actually pretty good. The average for most people is between 40 and 60. So I was above average, and I would say that my accuracy was around 92 to 95%. Now, again, not a horrible accuracy, but even the fewest mistakes would slow me way, way down. So since then, in the three years that I've been doing this, I've improved my typing speed from that 70 words per minute to an average of 95 to 130. Now that is a very large spread of average, right? It's not, usually when you're talking about average, you just give one number. My average varies significantly based on what I'm actually typing in the typing test. So if I am doing something short, like you'll see in the B-roll, I can get up to 130, 140 words per minute. I, I don't think I actually got that while I was doing recording it, of course, because of course not. But I can do pretty fast on short spurts because I tend to make less mistakes. If I do a longer typing test where I'm doing it for like 30 seconds or a minute or whatever, I tend to make more mistakes and my average goes down a little bit. So I usually average around 95 or so words per minute in that scenario. When I'm doing typing tests that aren't based on just random words and I'm doing things that actually make sense, like sentences and stuff like that, I can type around 120 words per minute. So I have significantly improved my words per minute when it comes to typing speed. In terms of accuracy, that's where it's kind of been a mixed bag. I feel like I'm typing more accurately. The statistics say that I'm basically not. Now, I have a problem with my hands when I type. I randomly type wrong letters for no apparent reason. Now, I don't know that if it's because my fat fingers hate me or because I my dyslexia is acting up again. I don't know what's actually going on there. I've never understood it. It's something that I've suffered basically since I've been typing on a keyboard, which is goes all the way back to the typewriter days back in the 90s. So uh, I've had the same problem for a very long time. and I continue to have that problem, and I have certain words that just don't do well for me. I type the word the wrong basically every time I type it. Now, I know how to spell the, T-H-E. Everyone knows how to spell the. At least everybody who knows how to speak English knows how to spell the. But I type it wrong. I mix the letters up. Some of that is probably my dyslexia acting up. I've always done that. But, you know, that's something. Also, any word that begins with P, I can't type accurately. Public, for whatever reason, monkey type, which is the main site I've been using for typing tests, likes the word public. And they put that in basically all the typing tests. And I can't type it accurately. I know how to spell it, so it's not me being a dummy. I, I, for whatever reason, the P is in such a weird place. And even though I'm, you know, I tried to do the whole type touch typing thing, and I've, I've gotten better at it, 
I still can't spell that word accurately, and that one always catches me up. There, and there are several words like that. A lot of them start with the word P, or the word with the word P, with the letter P. So, you know, I, I have problems with that. So, in terms of accuracy, I'd say it's a mixed bag. It does. I feel like I have become a better typist in terms of, of accuracy. I the statistics don't really back that up. I went from like a 92 to 95 percent accuracy to a 95 to 96 percent accuracy. So I suppose I have improved a little bit. The low end of the average has gone up a little bit, but it's still, you know it's basically the same. Now, if you look at those numbers, you're probably saying, well, there wasn't that much room for improvement, anyways. But when you when I make a, a single mistake, I stop and go back and fix it. Like I said, and that significantly, you know, slows me down. It's just the way that I've always typed. It's probably the way that I always will type. I have tried over the course of the years to wean myself off from that habit, but it's just something that I've, I've not been able to do. So, uh, you know, I'll continue to try and see if I can't get better. So the, the three-year experiment of doing this has seen, has seen my typing speed increase, my accuracy basically stay the same, although it feels like it has improved. And... What I would say that I've learned most from this is that if you're going to do this, if you're going to try to become a better typist, focus on accuracy, especially if you have a very low accuracy score. Like if you go to monkeytype.com, uh, which is an open source, by the way, uh, a typing test, you can host it yourself if you want. Uh, you can go there, take a typing test. You don't even have to sign in if you, if you don't want to. Uh, taking type of test, if you see that your accuracy score is really, really low, focus on that more than speed because you're going to increase that speed over time as you become more accurate. That's the one thing that I've learned. And even though my accuracy hasn't improved that much, I think that because I've been focusing more on accuracy than the speed, it has helped that speed increase just a little bit. Uh, at least that's part of the reason why my speed has increased because I have gotten to the point where I can get through an entire typing test without making many mistakes or at least no mistakes at all sometimes. So focus on accuracy more than speed, you'll get to the speed. Now one thing that I want to talk about before I end this little rambly video is that a lot of people think about switching to a different keyboard layout. Now I have tried this, so uh, obviously I'm an American, so I have been traditionally using the QWERTY layout for basically my entire life. And uh, I honestly had never even considered using something different until I started to do this challenge. And I have tried over the course of the last three years, a couple different formats. I tried Colmac and I tried Dvorak. Now I will be fully honest and say that I did not give them the amount of time that they needed in order for me to actually switch to those layouts. Uh, but I will say this, and if you watch other YouTube channels that are dedicated solely to typing, which is, you know, if you have a YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to how fast you type, I applaud you because that is quite a niche, but that's beside the point. If you watch other people who are more expert at typing than I am, they will tell you that you don't switch keyboard layouts to get faster at typing. It's just not something that you do. You switch keyboard layouts to make it more comfortable for you to type. And if you get faster because of that, you know, that's good. But it doesn't necessarily guarantee if you switch to a different layout that you're going to get faster. And that's basically uh, my experience. Now, like I said, I did not give those layouts long enough to kind of sleep into my, my muscle memory in order to figure out whether or not I could get faster with those. But I would say that QWERTY is where I'm most comfortable. And while I do still want to try a more ergonomic keyboard layout, I'd probably try Dvorak again. I don't think that I would do so expecting to be able to type any faster than I do now, even after I were to learn that layout and kind of make that my official you know, thing to do. So the whole layout thing, if you're going to do a layout uh, change, what I would say is don't expect to get faster. Um, especially at the beginning, but even as you go along, you're probably going to find yourself uh, disappointed if you switched because you wanted to get faster. So bottom line is that I think that my experiment here of trying to become a better typist has been mostly a success. I, I feel like I'm a faster, more accurate typer than I was at the beginning of 2020, so I think that that's a win. I don't think that I'm ever going to get further than where I am right now. 
that's the last thing that I want to talk about because I feel I've been at this 90 to 130 mark, depending on what test I'm doing for probably six months. Like it's been at least six months I've been there. I have not seen any more improvement since then. Now I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep doing this every morning because it's basically become a habit at this point. And we'll see if I, you know, improve more than I have so far. But it doesn't feel like I'm going to. It feels like that's about the limit of my ability to type. It's about 130 words per minute is my top, tippy top end. That's basically where I am. Now, that's nothing, that's not a, that's not anything to sneeze at. 130 words per minute is double what everybody else can type at least double. So, you know, at least on average, you know what I mean? So that's not really all that bad. And I, I can live with that. Uh, but I'm never going to be the guy on YouTube who can go 300 words per minute. That's just not ever going to happen, um, at least not with these hands. Maybe some AI will help me out. Or I don't I don't know. Anyways, that's me talking about a challenge that I actually completed three years of doing a typing test and improving my typing. And it has been a experience, let me tell you that. So... That is it for this video. If you have thoughts on this whole thing, you can leave those in the comment section below. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. I'm also on PeerTube through TIL vids. Uh, that link will also be in the video description. So if you want to watch me on PeerTube, you can do that as well. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash thelinuxcast. I'm also on Kofi at kofi.com slash thelinuxcast, ko-fi.com slash thelinuxcast. You can support me there. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so very, 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 very much. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.